Hey guys and welcome to the fourth video of the series and I know if you guys watched the last video you probably thought we'd, we're done with the drop down menu and uh, why are we still here but there were some things that I thought maybe we could just improve a little bit uh, I know it's not the best drop down menu in the world critics will argue but uh, maybe we can just do something to make it a little bit better you know so um, right now the text in the sub list is as big as the main list which you know we can change uh, we can get away get rid of that double border maybe and um, maybe just change the color of the link that we're hovering over just so that the user knows exactly what they're hovering over even though they could probably see just with the mouse but you know just to make the the website a little bit more interactive so what we'll do now is we'll go over to our top nav ul ul li a which uh, is top nav ul ul li a those these ones that one that one and that one and just change them uh, quick so what we'll do now is uh, font because we wanted to change the size of the font and we'll make it bold 14 pixels and capital S sans serif there we go okay and then the next thing we can do uh, sans serif okay uh, next thing we can do is obviously change the text of that thing so top nav Ella hover okay L I A hover and then open up our brackets there okay and what we want is maybe just for the color of the text to change to red and one other thing that we can do is LR, yeah, just LR, hover. Is I've made a, a background image uh, that we've already used, and if we run this in Chrome again, because I quit Chrome instead of minimizing, we've already got a bo uh, background gradient where it goes from dark to light. Now, maybe when we're hovering over this, we can swap the gradient around. Now all that we need to do then is just swap, the, rotate the image around on 180 degrees and then save it as another name which I've already done. So we can go here background and then image and then URL and uh, what was it called nav underscore hover dot png okay so now that we got that uh, done let's just go ahead and take a look in Chrome this time I didn't quit it okay so now we've got the text that changes color and the background image that flips around every time you hover over one of these top ones and then when you go into the list okay you can see the background image has followed which we'll have to delete now and then the text changes color just so that you got you know exactly which one you're hovering over okay so to get rid of the background image from the sub list if we don't want that there top underscore nav l r let's go u l u l l r and then hover and we'll just copy this that's the only part we need really control C control V and we'll write there none so no background image and that should be done so we go back here refresh and there we go so there is your drop down menu fully functional and styled uh, I know it's not the best drop-down menu in the world. Oh yeah, we said we might take those borders out, but 
that's not too difficult either. Um, just go down to top nav ul ul li and go border uh, whoops border top none and now go back to chrome refresh okay so now i think we're done and there we go that is your drop down menu thanks for watching my series please comment on my videos please like and subscribe and maybe i'll be adding some more in future goodbye